Kelly, how are you? The Frugal Fund Mum coming to you from a very hot Adelaide today. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. I thought it would be fun to kind of rack my brain with a few ideas and thoughts about 2021 and then moving into 2022, what my plans are. So let's go. Ultimately, I just have uh, a whole pile of notes <laughs> with random thoughts of things that just feedback, I think, more for myself. Uh, that I just want to talk to myself about but of course you know sharing it with you guys and although I was kind of there like oh, I don't need to do a video I'm doing it more for the 2022 me and uh, because I know I'm gonna get there and go oh, I wish I did a wrap up 2021 so I could look at the difference of stuff so uh, from me to me here you go here is your video with a few thoughts about what's happened through the years and yeah other thoughts that I just have in my head that I thought I'd share with you guys as well. The start of 2021 I kind of had no idea what was going to happen. Yes we just had 2020 and by the end of that things seemed to be getting back on track and normal but we had a few different things change. My son started a new school and it meant a lot more driving and also just different education and different support. And so I had no idea what my life would look like. So I just kind of went into 2021 going, whatever it is, it will be. I have really struggled with getting adequate support and other things like many parents with special needs children do um, and you know shoulda woulda coulda <laughs> if I could go back and change things but then I wouldn't be where I am today so it's just yeah um, I just got tired of fighting and although I had won the battle at the end of 2020 I lost the war so 2020 for us with COVID, it was a bit of a blessing for us, not going to lie. My son was really, really struggling in school. And so the minute that the school said, if you prefer some homeschooling, go for it. So straight away, we pulled him out of school. Uh, he was doing grade 11. And so it gave us the opportunity to help him at home in a calmer and a safer environment. I homeschooled him in grade seven because we had a similar situation and both times he achieved a lot more work at home than what we had done with less take homes and suspensions and issues and, and meetings <laughs> and negotiated education plans and all that stuff. So 2020 gave us the break that we needed and also I just started thinking there's got to be something else out there for us that's better for him and for us and looking at the future and what support we could get. I joined a couple of organisations as well around education and schooling and support and I believe networking through those helped me to develop some confidence and some avenues to explore other options. So when we decided to move schools in 2021, it was a big leap because we kind of gone from this support from nothing. We had no idea. Uh, he had a brilliant 2021 and some of the subjects and the learning and the opportunities and the social things that he's been able to do in one year compared to being at a mainstream school like I am so grateful <sighs> and so blessed um, he has been amazing that the year that he has taken it in his stride and we just want to set him up for success and you know I will do anything to fight for my children and for anyone that needs the help and support um, it was once said to me well someone was explaining about me to someone else uh, I'm a rescuer and so anytime I sort of see or hear of a situation that needs help I'm like what can I do how can I help uh, when my son's having issues at school you know I'm like I'm, I'm there the phone rings poof, I'm there uh, I have left an entire shopping trolley of food in the middle of a supermarket and taken off and luckily I did because by the time we got to uh, the school there was a bit of a medical emergency so yeah I am a rescuer so uh, 
positive and a negative. It is what it is. I'm a mum <laughs> at the end of the day. But yeah, I think that we never stop fighting for our families and for our children and doing the best that we can moving forward. Um, the other thing I would just like to say that with my son moving schools, um, I haven't had one single phone call all year. Um, being at a different education type setting, he's really found his own and been able to mingle and intermix with a whole variety of different people. Um, he's had overwhelming situations, but we haven't had a phone call to say, come and get him. And like, it's blown me away. The thing is though, it doesn't stop me from hovering, <laughs> being nearby. So I'll drop him off at school. And if I have a Zumba class, the teacher will go and do that. But if he's only there for about an hour or so, well, for petrol and time also, I'll take a book and I'll go sit somewhere or read or go mark down shopping. And um, so yeah, I just think it's such a change from knowing that I've had such a typical struggle with literally walking around with the phone in my hand and, and just jumping on it every time it rings to kind of there going, is my phone even working? <laughs> it's not ringing. So yeah, from going from issues to not one single take home suspension or anything, yeah. Um, he did quite well academically as well and he got some awards for his achievements. So I'm so happy. And it's also setting him up for his future um, career because these subjects could not be offered in a typical mainstream setting so the fact that we've been able to move to help accommodate him to move forward uh, we've made the right decision my Zumba business in 21 I was very blessed and fortunate that I was still able to run it pretty much as normal as possible um, I actually picked up a few new classes as well with instructors away and new opportunities that have come up so I did a lot more than I totally expected. I was running six classes a week, and but I love it, I love it, love it. I have met the most amazing people and a few characters, and we all have a good time. I say to people, I'm fun and easy to follow. I really love having a mix of music in there, and so if people get really lost or confused, and our arms and legs are going in a different direction than everything else, they tell me that they don't care because they're enjoying the music. And so, yeah, it's just great to have people to connect with and to do something that I absolutely love. I struggle with normal exercise, I get bored very quickly, so at least having Zumba it is fun. And not only that, I do it for a hobby, so any income that I do make from it goes back into the business to pay for any bills that I need. Yeah, and I've been teaching for nine years, so I'm very blessed and fortunate to have the business that I do. Of course, in 21, I started this YouTube channel and the original idea and concept is not where we are now, <laughs> but it's great. I'm happy that we're here and we're still not here because if we had to be here, we're in trouble. Um, the original idea was I was filming myself doing a whole lot of gardening in the backyard to more keep a bit of a record for myself about before and afters and how good it all looks. And I seriously thought it wouldn't take me that long to do what I needed to do. Uh, a year later, we're still here and it, <laughs> it looks worse <laughs> than when I started. So um, I needed some help. I started recording it too to sort of say, look, I'm doing this really frugally. I was able to scour and source a whole lot of stuff for free. And so I thought, oh, I'll share all that. And I just haven't got around to doing any of it. So... Yeah, I was putting it together also for my Zumba people because they were like, what did you get down up to in lockdown and, you know, what's going on with the garden. So I was making little videos to show them and just being funny in them and stuff like that. And it just, it pitted out. The heat came. It's really hard to be outside being a redhead and being so fair. And then I got really busy with the start of 21 and school and all the rest of it. So, yeah. <laughs> Of course, then I decided to start doing grocery hauls and frugal living and sharing all of that stuff. Some videos have done better than others, which has been amazing. And other videos just completely flopped, which I've gone, okay. 
I've completely given up trying to read the analytics or working out how to be a better YouTuber because I'm just sort of putting out content some to entertain myself for a bit of a record as well and just to share with other people what a normal person does um, I'm not saying that no one out there is normal but I just find that I'm very basic when it comes to doing a whole lot of stuff I am so mesmerized by a lot of people out there and the things that they do with how good their YouTube setup looks like you know this is as good as you're gonna get from me and so while I am looking at improving in some areas and things like that I also just I'm as real as you're gonna get I love doing hauls with shopping as well especially grocery hauls I find that if I show that I have fruit and vegetables <laughs> they get better views than other stuff my markdown shopping usually does really well uh, my Kmart hauls have done well however I got to the end of 21 and worked out that I was just shopping for the sake of shopping and also I just really didn't need anything and I didn't want to just be shopping just to shop and the things I was buying at Kmart that I was getting excited about I'm not really sure anyone else would care you know like a 50 cent pack of lollies woohoo uh, and I would fill them in my car because I knew that if I brought those things in um, they would be claimed by people very quickly and it's hard to film in a no noisy house I take my hats off to anyone who does Kmart hauls there are so many people who are amazing at what they do I just don't need all that stuff I will continue to watch your hauls uh, one of my friends Zisha she's in the Gold Coast uh, Life of Zeons and she's amazing. I just I love the aesthetics of her channel How she looks and the background and all the stuff she needs and she has a purpose for everything that she buys Well, at least that's what we'll tell each other you need it. It's essential uh, But I just found that you know apart from an audio cable or a phone charger I'm not really sure they're the new arrivals that came out <laughs> that people would be excited to watch so Haulers, please keep hauling. I will continue to watch for you, but also going into a no buy, I need to cut back. So I will live vicariously through you. My word for 2022 is intentional. I really want to make sure that I am using my time and my money and the resources that I have to the best of my ability. I need to make sure this year that I can get things done. I'm not talking about stacking up a whole lot of stuff on my plate, but I just want to feel like I'm not running around like a chicken with my head cut off. I ran out of time to do a whole lot of stuff in 2021 because I wasn't organized enough and I really want to make sure that I have the time and the availability to do the things that I want to do. I felt like I was chasing and trying to play catch up a lot in a whole lot of areas. I know with Zumba, um, I just kept working, 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 working because we were worried that any day we were going to go into lockdown and so I just felt like some things were full steam ahead and I figured if I hit a brick wall I'd worry about it then but now I kind of want to have everything at least planned out as much as I can and make sure that there's a bit of a work-life balance in some areas as well videos for 2022 I'm going to be doing a no buy I've definitely leapt <laughs> before I've looked I'm just doing it from the place of abundance I have a whole lot of skincare and makeup that I just don't frequently use and I've already spent money on them and so to declutter them it's like I might as well use them and I still have bought last year the occasional um, a few skincare things because they were marked down or they were on special and you know it's just kind of gone in the cupboard and I'm kind of there like oh I need to use everything that I have so while my no buy is not going to be I have this big brand name makeup thing it's just generic stuff I'm just looking at doing it more for me to make sure that I'm using and loving the stuff that I do have our house isn't majorly cluttered but we do have stuff here and there it's hard to explain and just want to sort of get control of some of the inventory that we do have and making sure that I kind of know where everything is <laughs> I'm also planning on doing some finance videos for you guys showing you 
budgeting and how we do it and giving you some tips and tricks about what might work for you and also doing some cash stuffing envelopes. I love watching other people do it so I thought I would do it. It won't be as elaborate and glamorous as everybody else because I'm very boring and basic but I'm going to show you the basics that we do and then also the other tips and tricks that we do to save money so you'll sort of be following us in real life as they say. I think that that wraps up sort of everything that I was thinking about for 2021. I said a lot more than what I expected to, so yeah, um, there are a lot more thoughts in my head, but I think I'll just save them, so I don't need to be said. Um, just reflections for myself and sort of what I've seen. I just think, you know, this was my first year on YouTube, and so while I know in some of the groups I'm in, people are like, I'll give you channel a review. I'm like, I don't need to be told that I'm not doing well. Um, I just, I know that. There are just so many things that I look at and say, I'm struggling with this or I don't understand this, but I will figure it out. And it's a journey for me. It's a marathon. It's not a sprint. And so I just think that I'm happy to track along doing what I'm doing. And also it's about sharing with you guys and connecting with you, making friends, having a laugh, showing how weird I am, taking apart washing machines, just being here together. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. How was your 2021? And do you have any plans or goals for 2022? I never say any more uh, New Year's resolutions. Yes, I have a few things, but I, again, I think I'll just keep them in my head. And because best laid plans and all that, I will write some stuff down. And then if we get to it by the end of it, then so be it. But I am aware that sometimes putting things out there on the internet and being a woman of your word, um, it's a little bit embarrassing if you don't achieve what you don't set out to. And, you know, that's a learning curve for me as well as other people as well. But I think that sometimes I don't want to put myself out there if I have any doubt that I might not achieve what I'm going to achieve. I think that's just human nature. We don't want to set ourselves up for a fall and we like to protect ourselves. So yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to bring you with me into 2022. And as always, I look forward to seeing you next time. Have a happy new year and stay safe. Bye.